before jazz ever hit Europe and France, all these gypsies were playing acoustic guitars, they were playing bass, violin, these were the gypsy instruments. They were playing waltzes, you know, basically these kind of things. But already when they were playing these, this kind of music, they were improvising over those waltzes. So there was this sort of musette jazz happening in Europe as it was evolving in, in the States. The history of gypsy jazz starts with Django. Um, some people say it ends with Django as well. He was a, a French gypsy, um, born in Belgium. He played actually several different instruments and apparently was very good at them. When Django first heard jazz, he heard Louis Armstrong, he heard um, Duke Ellington, all these people. Uh, he started playing that kind of music on their instruments. Then jazz, little by little, lost its coldness. And straight jazz became hot, thanks to a few musicians whose remarkable improvisations gave jazz a new lease on life. Listen to Django Reinhardt. It's the same melody, but what a difference in interpretation. When he was 18, his caravan lit on fire. He was crippled, and his left hand was actually curled into, the last two fingers were kind of curled into a claw, so he could only actually use two fingers in his thumb. And so he decided to keep playing music, and he played guitar, and he basically, because of his handicap, he ended up playing a completely original form of music. So what he was doing was basically modernizing jazz, right? He was, he was creating chords which were used in classical music, like Debussy and Ravel were doing these things, and he was doing it on guitar. And also phrasing, I mean, when you have five fingers, you automatically want to, you know, use one and then use the other and use the other. But when you're soloing with these two fingers, um, you don't, you're not predictable, right? You're creating phrases which are, are different, and you, and you don't hear any other guitar player, you know, play. So he was completely unique. I, I just love Django, right? So, um, you know, I consider my playing basically just trying to imitate him as, as best as I can. I mean, th this is my handicap, five fingers. 